Hi, everybody, and welcome to Spa Babies. I'm Dan Ullman, along with Nicole Russo, and we kick off the card at Saratoga on Thursday for our Spa Baby race, as well as the early 50-cent pick five. Let's take a look at this field. We're going a mile and a sixteenth on the inner turf. It's for two-year-old New York breads. Ten in the body of the field. The number 11, Senegal, is entered main track only, and the number one, B.D. Saints, is shipping up from Ellis Park for trainer Will Walden, and not only does this horse have experience, but he has route experience. Yeah, and we're going to kick off talking right about BD Saints in, in our Spa Babies race. And I think you hit the nail on the head there why this horse is so well regarded. We always say experience counts. Not only does this horse have experience, not only does he have turf experience, but he went a mile at Ellis Park and therefore has, you know, some incredible foundation getting ready to go this mile and a 16th at Saratoga. Although the track configuration will be different. At Ellis, it's, it's more of a one-turn race, and at Saratoga, we'll be going two turns, two tight turns on the inner turf. And as we take a closer look at the number one BD Saints, this is a full brother to a multiple stakes winner on dirt. He is by Lauban, top New York stallion. The dam a half to multiple stakes winning turf route already signal. He was very green in his debut. He broke sluggishly. Then he sort of pulled his rider to the outside, raced three wide on the turn and kept trying in the stretch. Just a good learning debut. Absolutely. And I do think that Will Walden's horses early in his training career here, I do think so far they've been improving with experience. And BD Saints is one who certainly has license to do that after running greenly in his debut. The number two is Get Spooled. This is a first-time starter for trainer Bill Mott, jockey Jose Lascano. This is a colt by Hard Spun and sold for $230,000 as a yearling. The damn one sprinting on turf. There's a lot of speed on the bottom of this pedigree, but Mott knows where to place them, and the Hard Spuns are very versatile. Very. And hard spun over a street cry mare. That to me says versatility, says distance. Lots of turf in the female family to balance out hard spun, who does do a little bit better on dirt than on turf. But he's also got horses, remember, like two fills who ran so well on synthetic at Turfway this year. Uh, just a very versatile combination in the pedigree here. The number three is Cold Plunge, a debut runner for top Mid-Atlantic-based trainer Brittany Russell and Arad Ortiz Jr., the leading rider, takes the mount. This is a Colt by point of entry, a phenomenal turf runner in his day who gets 14% winners with first turf runners. This female family full of distance, there's some synthetic ability. Uh, Russell has been sending up some two-year-olds this meet, and uh, Cold Plunge might have worked in company with Coach Sessa, the filly in on Wednesday. That was on July 15th at Delaware. So I'm expecting Cold Plunge to take a little bit of money if that one runs well. Yeah, and you know, that's a very interesting point about watching that Wednesday race and looking at the clocker reports for some clues. I like that Cold Plunge is coming into this two-turn debut with some five furlong works for that foundation. Uh, point of entry, you know, should have no problem going two turns. And uh, another one you mentioned, Brittany Russell sending up to Saratoga this week. And as we discussed on Spa Babies, there are so many opportunities for these horses in that mid-Atlantic region. And that I find it interesting to see these ones picketed for Saratoga. I don't think they would be here if this leading trainer did not think they were live. The number four is Dylan. This is a gelding going out for trainer Dominic Chitino. Jackie Davis takes the mount by Giant Surprise. Giant Surprise is very well with juvenile debut runners, but only scores at four. 2% with his first time turf runners. The dam has fold two winners. This gelding should have a good foundation, has been breezing regularly since mid May. Yeah, including some grass breezes and giant surprise by Giants Causeway. It's very interesting because I expected him to stagger a few more turf runners than he has so far. That being said, you mentioned Jackie Davis taking them out and all of the Davis siblings are riding really well right now in New York and really seem to be moving their mounts up. That would certainly be the case with this one. The number five is Dancing Mischief for trainer George Weaver, jockey Javier Castellano. This colt by first crop sire Maximus Mischief sprinted in his career debut, gave an even performance. But as you see from our horse card, 
Distance might really move this one forward. The dam is a half to summer doldrums, a grade three stakes winner going long on the turf. The second dam was a two-year-old stakes place dirt router named Dance for Dixie. He faced an odds-on winner in his debut, so we can expect some improvements with that uh, debut under his girth. Yeah, and not only was the winner of that race odds on, but you see on the page there, on the past performances here, he finished behind two, now two next out winners as Jimmy the Tooth came back to win in one of our spa baby races recently. From the first crop of Maximus Mischief, who's got seven winners so far to lead this first crop sire class in that regard, so far their opportunities have mainly come on dirt, but I expect him to do all right with his turf runners also. He's by, of course, leading sire into Mischief, who is a versatile stallion, and this one, as you said, a lot of route ability in the female family, out of an Uncle Mo mare, and Uncle Mo, of course, also a multi-purpose sire. And trainer George Weaver is having a really nice year in 2023. We have a formulator fact regarding dancing mischief. Over the past three years, two-year-old second-time starters on turf, 24% winners, and a $3.43 return on investment. The six is Special Agent Johnson, another second-time starter, another one that sprinted in the debut, and another one with class and distance on the bottom of this pedigree. A nice Claiborne family uh, for this son of Klimt. Yeah, and another one who faced Jimmy the Tooth on debut uh, finished fifth as that one finished second before, you know, the cons that consistent runner came back to win at Saratoga. And as you said, a really beautiful Claiborne female family with plenty of stamina, distance ability there under a very preco precocious horse in Sire Klimt, who is a grade one winner at two. Kendra Carmouche takes them out for Michelle Nevin. I think the source should show a little bit of speed. Carmouche is rather aggressive, just needs a little better break from the gate. The seven is Scoop the Pot, a first-time starter for trainer Mark Henning, jockey Tyler Gaffalione, a son of Lemon Drop Kid, 11% winner's juvenile debut runners, 10% winner's first turf sire. Uh, the dam was a uh, one, two turf routes, very versatile pedigree, and another one that's just been breezing steadily, this one since late April. Yeah, I think if you're going to look at the debut starters versus the experienced horses in here, I think you do want to see a debut starter with a long, steady work tab to give them some foundation to debut in a two-turn race like this. As you said, Lemon Drop Kid, such a versatile sire and definitely adds stamina atop this pedigree as well. The number eight is Frozen Four. Joel Rosario picks up the mount for trainer Christophe Clement. This is a son of Frosted, who clicks with 14% of his two-year-old debut runners. The damn one routing on turf. Just another strong pedigree, steady work tab. Looks like a contender and won't be surprised if he takes his share of money. Yeah, uh, as you mentioned, another one with a long, steady work tab. Again, I think that's an asset for the first-time starters in a race like this. And I really like all of the turf in the female family to help frost it out a little bit. He is a versatile stallion, but I do like his dirt runners better, that being said. And the Clement Barn does win with first-time starters going long on the turf. Our formulator fact, two-year-old first-time starters, made in special way turf routes for New York Reds, 36% winners, a $5.35 return on investment. Our final two runners in the body of the field, the 11, Senegal entered main track only. They have racing experience. Unaudited is the number nine. This is a son of first crop sire Audible from the family of Belong to Me, a very good sire, whether it be dirt or turf. Uh, this one was a $150,000 RNA and then sold for $125,000 at the sale. Uh, can certainly improve off of his debut, just didn't do much running that day. Yeah, passed some tired horses while finishing behind a next out winner. I think that's perfectly respectable. Audible, another son of the versatile into mischief with his first two-year-olds this year. Um, Audible, I really expect his runners to start coming alive now that they're getting some distance to work with. He was speedy, but he was at his best around two turns, winning the Florida Derby and then finishing a very good third behind champions Justify and Good Magic in the 2018 Kentucky Derby. He was just a medium-sized, athletic, balanced horse, and he seems to be throwing the same thing.
And the number 10 is a Knight's Courage. This is a son of Bourbon Courage, 13% winners with two-year-olds, 10% first turf. He's based in Maryland. This is a strong route family, the family of Judge TC. I wonder if it's more dirt-oriented, but I think that he can improve stretching out in distance. Just a tough outside post here on the inner turf. Yeah, um, they they do have a couple of tight turns. They've got a short run into the first turn. The outside post is going to be difficult. That being said, Bourbon Courage, a very good sire, very good statistics from his Maryland base. This one has good experience to give him that foundation to go two turns. And again, Katie Davis uh, riding very well right now and is familiar with this horse, having ridden him in both his prior starts. Senegal, the 11, has entered main track only. So we'll take a look at our top selections for our Thursday Spa Baby event. Same exact, a different order. Nicole, you're going with the five, Dancing Mischief. This is a good barn, George Weaver. And again, we expect this one to improve stretching out in distance. Yeah, and, you know, looking at that distance, I very much respect the experience that BD Saints had on debut, should have learned a lot from that green debut and has that foundation having gone a mile. But... I don't think he's unbeatable, especially drawn inside in a bigger field with 10 in the main body of the field. I will try to look for another experienced horse that will maybe offer you some more value if you watch the board. Dancing Mischief coming out of what looks like a key race for a stallion who should be versatile with Javier Castellano, who is riding as well as he ever has in his career retaining the mound. Uh, BD Saints, again, has that route experience from Ellis Park, was very green and was breaking from the rail in that race. Didn't break very well, so it'll be very interesting to see how he breaks from the inside post here. If he does break well, I think he can take up shop in a pace tracking ground saving position. 5138 for Nicole, 1568 for me. It's our Spa Baby event for Thursday, August the 3rd, and we kick off the card at Saratoga. Good luck.